today, we will read a CSV file using pandas, then we will split the data into train and test groups, using sklearn, then we will create a neural network model, train the model, and predict the test values. At the end, we will attempt to save, load, and recuse the saved model. Import the pandas library. Read the CSV file containing the data set. An R before a string, tells the Python interpreter to treat backslashes, as a literal, raw, character. Print the CSV file, to ensure it is loaded properly. Now, select the input columns, from CSV data frame. Select the output column, from CSV data frame. Now, we need to split the CSV data set, into training and testing groups. Assign training and testing data to variables. Test size of 0.2 means 20% of data will be used for testing purposes. We can test the variables by printing them onto the console window. Now, we will import a neural network model, from scikit-learn. Our model is based on multi-layer perceptron regressor. We will use rectified linear unit, as activation function, and LBFGS as solver.
Now we can train the model, using training data, we split previously. To test the accuracy of our model, we can check the score of our model, using test data. We need to increase the number of iterations, to improve the score of our neural network model. Model scored 97%, which is a good score. Not we will import PyPlot library, for visualization. We will draw a scatter plot. To draw visualization, first we need to predict the test data, and compare it to its actual values. Now we will plot the predicted values, and their difference with the actual values, on a scatter chart. Errors will be displayed on x-axis. Predicted data will be displayed on the y-axis. Now we will import the job library, to save and load our model, instead of training it again and again. We want to save our model, right after it has been trained and scored. We need a file name where the model will be stored. Let's check if the file has been created or not. Since this file did not exist before, the presence of this file means, that model has been saved successfully. Now, we can replace the code, where model is created and trained, with the code, that reads the pre-trained model, from the file saved on our hard drive.
So this way, we can predict data, based on pre-trained models, without training models again and again, saving precious time, and processing. We can automate this process, so that if the model file exists, new model is not created, instead the model already saved is used. And if the file does not exist, a new model is created, trained, and then saved in the file. Our code is using existing model, saved in the file. Let's delete that file, and see what it does. It should create a new model, and save it on a file. Now, it is again using the model saved in the file just as we intended. This is how models are created, trained, saved, loaded, and reused in Python. Please feel free to ask any question, or leave a feedback in the comments section.